Hello everyone, this is ASMRF today. I am welcoming you to my new illustrator tutorial. Today I will show you how to make a logo, a creative logo. At first I will go to the new options. I am using the uh, illustrator creative cloud 2017. Okay, I am taking the thousand by thousand uh, square artboard. Okay, okay, this one is my artboard. Okay, after that I will go to the text tool and click once and increase the size of the font I'm taking font uh, Futura Futura font which is uh, like that and I'm writing a and I'm making it bigger actually and here is other options uh, bold oblique this one is good okay or I can write down here um, e or C or D is good I think I think D that's good okay you can change the font you can take any kind of font from your font uh, palette I'm taking site just because of uh, here is I'll choose the font from here mm. Uh, font which is simple font like that okay let me find out this one is good okay after that increasing this one and I'll create outline after creating outline I'll take a gradient or make a gradient I'm taking a square shape here and going to the gradient tool and select this one if these type of panels are not appearing on your screen please go to these options uh, the here is the workspace just customization I'm using the essential options okay and then you'll get it okay I'm just uh, mixing the color here is two portion of a uh, grid or uh, gradient slider the lift slider I'll take uh, like uh, this cyan color and in these options i'll take like a warm color like that not really this one or you can take other one like that or this one that's good the mixer okay nice this one is good and i'm selecting this one and after that going to the round rectangle tool from the round rectangle tool I will just make a round rectangle like that and I will adjust this one like that's good and making copy by pressing alter and just you can make like that it's look like uh, it's melting uh, okay and just I'm placing this one the smaller and bigger bigger and smaller you have to arrange this one according to your work okay this one like that okay you can arrange you have to arrange it actually like that okay that's good and you can select all the rectangle round rectangle and you can arrange the gap between those for that uh, you have to go to the window and alignment you'll get the alignment and you can make like that that's good and this one I'll just make the alignment of this rectangle uh, like selecting this one and selecting this one and the alignment will be okay and first one I'll select this one and okay that's good but uh, here is extra things I don't need those and those okay select all the things and after that go to the window and pathfinder or you can uh, just press shift ctrl f9 
okay after that I'll just divide and ungroup this one and I'll delete those things the extra things okay that's good after that uh, uh, again round rectangle tool and making uh, a little bit like that yes like that here and just here you can uh, give another thing here or don't give too much uh, it will look messy okay uh, just i am aligning the drops actually like that nice after that all the things we have to select these things not the drops and you have to merge it like that merge tool or you can join the, them like that uh, but uh, here is some object and that's not uh, necessary actually this one okay okay now this one is clear and you can merge it otherwise it will be adjust other things or uh, that's not cool okay this one is uh, our logo today and now I'll select all the things and press I from the keyboard for I that is the color picker or eye picker and select here we'll get a nice logo or you can adjust this one like that uh, G and just it like that or uh, this one is good you can adjust with this okay select this one press G and you can adjust with this one you can slide this slider okay that's good little bit okay nice and this one is also press G and G for gradient gradient adjustment actually press G and you can just press the shift button and hold it and you can just move the slider like that that's good this is a logo today and make group by pressing ctrl G and this one is good you can if your company uh, name is uh, begin with the letter D then you can use this logo on your company that's nice okay thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial and if you have any kind of question or query please feel free to do comment on my video comment section or if you want to connect with me please feel free to just knock me on facebook twitter or instagram or any kind of social media okay and don't forget to share and subscribe with your friend till the next video i am asmr signing out and bye bye